So another part of making custom ROMs is changing things like the text that is displayed in ROMs and the color of, of uh, the apps and things like that. So if we go to, um, for instance, we're going to use the texting app, the messaging app. And we're here in, in Pack Marshmallow. We're going to packages, apps, and we find the messaging app. And a lot of these files look really confusing. There's a lot in here, a lot of things to be aware of. But I just want you to see how can we make a change to change, say, something from uh, the typical messaging app is, is green by default, which is kind of an ugly color, if you ask me. I think it's supposed to represent Android, you know. What if you wanted to change that to something like orange? So we look into this res and this drawable HDPI folder, and you can see like here's the checkmate circle. Um, and notice that it says blue, but it's actually green. And that's because the coding for it has to say blue because that's what they what they chose. But you could actually open this with something like GIMP or something else and change it to be a different color. You could edit these icons, you could load your own icons as long as they either have the same name or you change the name of the file that's reading it to be the right one. So that's how you can change things like icons and drawables. Um, very straightforward, very simple. Make sure though you look and you have different drawable um, essentially resolutions and you have to change them for each one. A little bit tedious. Um, here we have the values folder. And uh, this is going to hold things like the the value of some um, something that is uh, that is used. So here we see the value of strings, and strings are like the text that shows up on the screen. Like, hey, we have next, we have exit. So if we change the value of the word next every time the the um, app is supposed to display the word next, it actually displays now this capital N-E under little x capital T. So we can change any of these uh, to be something else we want. So for instance, settings with arrow, we can change it to be from settings to say preference, preferences, you know. Um, we can edit any of these uh, text to be um, what we want to see. Do keep in mind that there are often um, different languages. So that was the value of the default if a specific language is not chosen. So it's a little bit of work because you'd have to go through and change it for different languages um, if you wanted it to change for everybody. But if you're just changing it for yourself or for a particular language group, it can be pretty simple. Uh, then we see this uh, values of color. So we open that, and notice we have all of these um, color uh, variables that are given a name, and then then they are given this uh, pound sign or hashtag with a uh, a bunch of numbers or letters. And so, how do we know what color that is and what color we want to change it to? Well, um, if we open our web browser. And we just go to Google, for instance. You can do this probably in any search browser, but uh, Google happens to have a pretty nice uh, setup for this. And we paste in that uh, that hashtag and that hexadecimal uh, set of values there. We see that this is the color hex for black. So there we go. So now we know what it was. Um, we can choose a different one and say, hey, what, uh, what's this one? Um, something to keep in mind, notice that this one is longer than the one we just looked at. Let's get back to our Google here. Paste that in there. And we search for that, and it doesn't work. Why is that? Well, take off the last two digits, and you'll be able to see uh, what it was. So the last two digits are actually the transparency factor. How transparent do you want it to be? Now this happens to be the color of a, of a kind of an off red color here. <clears throat> so for instance, if you want to choose something else, you could use the slider bar over here, copy that color, 
and paste it in. So we don't want it to be red, we want it to be the screen. Remember not to change those last two digits, that's the amount of transparency that you're using. And now if we save that, we have actually changed that color from the text counter from being red to now being a green color. And so that's how you can go through and modify or theme your ROM if you like to change the colors to be something else. Again, these last two digits, this is a transparency factor. So uh, how see-through is this particular um, color when used? Uh, zero, zero would be um, not transparent, and FF would be fully transparent, if I'm not mistaken. So when you see longer ones that are more than six uh, digits, you know that that is a color that has transparency as well. Let's look at another example here. <clears throat> so we've got white. You know, the all F is just white. And let's say we want to just drag this little circle up here to be something else. So let's take that. We're going to make it this kind of weird meringue yellow color, I guess. And we'll change the background color to be, um, you know, this kind of weird yellow color. Now, you won't see this done a lot anymore because of the advent of things like uh, layers, um, you know, and using, uh, you know, custom theming um, applications and, and framework. But I did want you to be aware that these things exist and uh, that you can change the values for these colors to be whatever you want them to be. Uh, you can also check this out on my website. I've done this several times. Uh, and if you look through there, you can see some, some examples if you want to see what the changes look like when you're done. But essentially, when you've, when you've done that change, you just need to go back and you know, set up your environment and build that uh, that ROM again, and it should build that custom uh, app. Sometimes if that app will not build again with the custom colors you've added, and you're sure you've done it right, you may need to uh, um, go through and uh, do something like a you know clean, so you can uh, remove the pre-built one, so they may say, oh, I already built that, and it doesn't need to build it again. And so you may need to go through and clean out that pre-built applications. 